Hazrat Sabit has reported from Hazrat Anas radiyallahu anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to Abu Talha, "Give this garden to any of your relatives." So he presented it to Hazrat Hassan and Hazrat Ubay bin Kaab radiyallahu anhu, who were his cousins. And the Ansari Muhammad bin Abdullah said, "His father from Tumama, he from Hazrat Anas radiyallahu anhu, has reported a hadith similar." to the aforementioned hadith is sabit that he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said give it garden to your poor kings hazrat anas radiyallahu anhu says he presented that to hazrat hassan and hazrat ubay bin kaab radiyallahu anhu who were closer to him than i and hazrat hassan and hazrat ubay bin kaab radiyallahu anhu had the ties of relation with hazrat abu talha and his name was zaid bin sahal bin aswad bin haram bin amr bin zaid manat bin adi bin amr bin malik bin najjar and hassan bin sabit bin mundhir bin haram so both of them abu talha and hassan join each other at haram who is their grand great father and haram bin amr bin zaid manat bin adi bin amr bin malik bin najjar combines hazrat hassan hazrat abu talha and hazrat ubay radhiyallahu anhum at amr bin malik the sixth grandfather and their family tree is as this ubay bin kaab bin qais bin ubaid bin zaid bin muawiya bin amr bin malik bin najjar so amr bin malik is the one who combines hazrat hassan hazrat abu talha and hazrat ubay some people say when a will is made for the relatives their muslim fathers and grandfathers will automatically be included hazrat ishaq bin abdullah bin abi talha radhiyallahu anhu reports that he heard hazrat anas radhiyallahu anhu saying that allah's apostle sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to abu talha radhiyallahu anhu i think you should give it your garden to your relatives hazrat abu talha radhiyallahu anhu submitted o oh allah's apostle sallallahu alaihi wasallam i will do the same so hazrat abu talha radhiyallahu anhu divided it among his kith and kin and cousins hazrat ibn abbas radhiyallahu anhu says that when this verse was revealed and o beloved warn your nearest kinsmen the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam started calling o banu fahr o banu adi the branches of the quraish and hazrat abu huraira radhiyallahu anhu says when the verse and o beloved warn your nearest kinsmen was revealed the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said o the group of the quraish sahih bukhari hadith number 2752